Hi, in this video we demonstrate how to provision an AWS EC2 instance with an Apache web server using AWS CloudFormation. Although AWS CloudFormation offers us a web interface, the designer that allows us to create stack templates for resource provisioning from both scratch and from existing templates or snippets. In this video, we focus on the command line method of resource tag provisioning from a template. For this demonstration, we assume the following, that we have an AWS cloud account, that we have the AWS CLI version two or newer installed on our workstation, the AWS CLI has a profile configured with our accounts access key, and that we have created a key pair for EC2 access to allow us to securely SSH into our instance. Our resource tag template is created in JSON, but CloudFormation accepts templates in YAML as well. So let's explore the template and identify a few of its main configuration properties. In the parameter section, we define four distinct parameters. We start with a key name, which is the name of the key pair for SSH access into our EC2 instance. An instance type, which in our scenario it is a T2 small. Then the instance image or AMI, the Amazon machine image, in our case is based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And then we also define the IP range to be allowed as sources of SSH connections to be used later to define a firewall rule in the security group resource. Now the mapping section includes the default mappings of instance types to architecture and the default AMI mappings to each architecture type and in each region. Now finally the resources section configure um, our EC2 instances and instance type and the security group. Now the instances ID, the instance type and the key name, they are referencing resources defined earlier. Now the EC2 security group references a resource defined later. And then the user data includes the startup script. And this startup script starts by updating the package list of the Ubuntu 20.04 operating system on EC2. Then it will install the Apache 2 package for Ubuntu. And then finally, it will update the index.html file of the Apache 2 web server to display welcome to AWS cloud formation. And then the security group includes two rules, one for HTTP traffic to port 80 from all sources and then the second for SSH traffic to port 22 from sources defined earlier. And then the output section, in the output section we specify the information we expect to be returned to us once the stack has been created and in this case, we need the public IP address of the EC2 instance so we can test the Apache web server. Now let's switch to our terminal and validate the JSON stack template 
with the AWS CloudFormation validate template command. So let me copy that over. And this command also includes the path to our template. Now, if we receive no errors, then we can safely create the stack. So there are no errors. So that means we can safely create the stack with the AWS CloudFormation create stack command. In this command, I also have to include the name of the stack together with the path to my template. So while the stack is being created, I can watch its progress on the CloudFormation dashboard as well. Let's hit refresh. And the cloud infra stack is in the creating process. So create is in progress. So if we keep refreshing for a few more times, until the creation completes. Finally, it completed. Now I can navigate to my stack. And it displays a lot of the properties of the stack. But at the top, I have the outputs tab where I get to see the public IP address of my EC2 instance. But this IP address can also be extracted from the terminal by running the AWS CloudFormation list exports command. So let's run that command in the terminal. And we can compare this IP address with the IP in the dashboard 34207611129. So let's take this IP address and type it into a browser. We're going to enter. And we get the welcome to AWS cloud formation web page. So this confirms that the, A the AWS EC2 instance has been provisioned, running Apache web server and the Apache web servers index.html has been updated according to our specification. Now once the verification is successful, we can safely delete the stack with the AWS CloudFormation delete stack command. And with this command, I also have to provide the stacks name. We hit enter. And in the dashboard, the cloud infra stack CloudFormation stack is already in the delete phase. So in this video, we explored a simple CloudFormation stack template. We used a few basic AWS CloudFormation commands to validate a template, to create a stack from a template, uh, to extract exported output values, and finally to delete the stack. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.